Bears were in attendance Thursday, March 13th at the Hudson Valley Sports Dome. The athletes performed different tests of physical fitness and skill in the hopes of catching the eye of an NFL scout. Uh, I think I stood out the most in uh, my 40. I think I ran a little bit faster than I did in Buffalo, which was uh, the main focus on uh, the pro day today, which is to run faster. And I felt that I stayed uh, consistent with the other drills that I did here as long as I did in uh, Buffalo. So I think I did a pretty good job today. Terrence Fide is Marist's top prospect. A 6'4 defensive line, he set the Marist record in career sacks and single season sacks. He also recently took part in a pro timing day in Buffalo, where all 32 NFL teams were present. I also want to thank Coach P because he had a you know major help in me getting up there. They've been supporting me since day one, you know. I don't know how other teams run things, but here at Marist, you know, once you're done playing on the field, that doesn't mean the coaches you stop contact with you. You know, Coach B, along with Coach Ramsey, Coach A, the whole coaching staff, you know, they hit me up from time to time, text me to see how I'm doing. And Fide has been doing a lot. Aiming to be the first Red Fox drafted in school history, Fide was primarily responsible for Marist's first ever NFL Pro Day. Oh, a very, very proud day, and uh, it's great to see how far the program's come. Uh, we had our we had our luncheon yesterday for our championship, and we talked about this, kind of the beginnings of the of the program. The program is going to be 50 years old now, uh, starting in 2000 or in 2015. But to have our first pro day and to have so many guys be viable candidates shows where really where the program has come to. I think as a first, which is pretty awesome. But you know, one of the main Think reasons why I wanted to have one here at Marist also and not just keep one up at Buffalo was for my other teammates, you know, to also have a chance to, you know, get looked at by the scouts. You know, it's a great thing to have your teammates who that you've been playing with for four years come out here on, on the field for a very last time. You know, this probably be the last time we're on the field together. So it was a pretty humbling and great experience. Another former Red Fox, Michael Rios, briefly signed with the Arizona Cardinals and looks to use the experience as fuel second time around. You know, I took a lot of things out. I was able to watch professionals like Larry Fitzgerald and Carson Palmer, and uh, those guys were real professionals. Uh, they treat they treated everyone with respect, led by example on and off the field. So, you know, every facet in life and all your decisions, you know, stem back to your career and being healthy. So I was able to learn a lot on and off the field from those guys. I'm just trying to show the scouts that I'm healthy. You know, last time uh, I performed well in pro day, and I was able to get on an NFL roster. But uh, I ran into some bad luck and I broke my foot, which is unfortunate. But uh, I used that time to recover to get myself ready for the next season and learn a little bit about myself and my situation. And I'm truly grateful for my, uh, where I'm at in my school.